everyone, it is BJ with Team Body by BJ. We are back today for a full body. It's gonna be five exercises, three times through, that we're gonna be using our dumbbell, we're gonna be using our step, we're gonna be using our barbell, and of course, body weight. So our first one is gonna be a full body from our squat, our curl, our burpee, and our row, all the way back up eight times onto our step, for our step up reverse lunge. Then it's gonna be into our dead bug, alternating chest press, our barbell bent over rows with our palms forward, and lastly, our tuck up on the bench. So let's go ahead, let's just stretch everything out. Let's just reach it down. Get everything ready to move. Let's walk into that downward dog. Press those heels down. Stretch through those hamstrings, through the calves, through that shoulder joint. Open up those shoulders. And let's drop it down into our plank. Warming up the upper body, our shoulders, our triceps, our chest, our back, our core. And give me 10 toe taps while we're here. Squeeze them on in. Knee to elbow. Give me six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's lower down. Let's stretch it up into that upward dog. And back down. One more time. Stretch it up there. Let's tuck those toes under. Back to that downward dog. Let's kind of bend those knees. Let's jump it on in. Give me 10 squats. Let's just get those knees, those hips, everything ready to move and groove for our full body workout. Give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, I'm gonna start with the 12 pounders for the first one. It's gonna be a squat. You're gonna hold on the bottom. Curl it, jump back into our plank. We're gonna do our rows. We're gonna jump back up, stand back up, and do it again. So for the first exercise, it's gonna be eight on everything. So let's grab those dumbbells. Let's get in that good start position, hands in front, hammer curl position. Drop it down, curl, jump into that plank. We're gonna row it on it. Jump back in, stand back up. Seven more times, here we go, down. Curl, jump into that plank, really press through that base arm. Jump back in, stand back up, six more, come on down. Curl, plank, row it up, jump back in, stand back up, here's five. Curl, plank, row it, jump back in, you're halfway, come on, four more. Four, you've got this strong core, press through that base arm. Jump back in, big jump. Three more, here we go, come on. Three, jump it back. Row it up there. Jump back in, stand back up, two more. You've got this strong plank back there, strong core, squeeze everything. Jump back in. One more. Curl it. Plank it. Row it. Jump it. And stand back up. Excellent job. Let's bring those down. We're going to grab one of our 15 pounders. You choose the weight that's going to work best for you. We're going to take with that left foot up. Onto the bench. Hand with the dumbbell in the right hand. Here we go. Step it up, step back, reverse lunge. Step it up, back, reverse lunge. Eight more times. Eight, strong core. Use both that upward position and the downward face to regain that balance if we need. So it's that little pause, knee up. Step back, hold, back up, here we go, here's five, and hold, four, and hold, three, 
Bring it down. Two. Come on, you got this. One more. And hold. Bring it up. Switch hands. Right foot goes up. Take that good deep breath in. Let's bring it up. Step it back, lunge. We try to keep that core nice and strong. Keep those shoulders and hips as square as we can. Here's four. You got this. Five. Come on. I know that heart rate is up. Those legs are feeling it. You got this. Give me three more. Three. And hold. Two. And hold. One more. One. And hold. Bring that down. Let's bring that bench. Let's take it lengthwise. We're going to go onto our core and our chest once again. Just like we did with our plank. Let's bring it all the way down. Let's take those hands, 10 and 2. Just like we're driving. That low back is pulling down. It's going to be right hand, left leg. We bring it down. Squeeze it up. Left and right. Squeeze it up. You got this. Down. And press. Down. Press it up. You got this. Keeping that good, strong core. Pulling down in that dead bug. Squeezing that chest. As we press up. Come on, you got this. Let's go 10 more. Working that core. Working the chest, the shoulders, the tricep. Lots of muscle groups firing. Lots of calories being burned. Come on. You got this. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two. One more. And down. Let's roll it up. Let's bring those dumbbells down. Let's grab our barbell. Let's bring it out to the front. Switch those hands in front. Let's lean it over. Good flat back. Core engaged. Here we go. Lift and lower. Squeezing with that mid back. Give me nine more. Nine. Eight. You got it. Seven. Make that mid back. And those biceps have to work. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring that down. All right, let's take a seat on that bench. We're going to take it. Make a tripod with your hands and your booty in our tuck position. We're going to bring it up. Squeeze back in like an accordion. Out. Breathe it out. Inhale. Exhale. Here's four. Five. Adding a little momentum to it. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. You got this. Ten. Give me ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one, bring it on up. All right, one, one is done. We get that good minute rest. We get to move our bench back over. And we get to get ready for round two. So of course, our rest period, great time to change out any weights that we need to. If you need to go heavier, if you need to go lighter, if you need to move things around, now is that perfect time. Letting that heart rate recover. Letting that breathing slow down. Grab a little sip of water. So we stay nice and hydrated. Remember, it's just a sip. We're not chugging water. 
Just enough to wet that whistle and stay nice and hydrated. Let's move that bench just a little bit. We're gonna go back to our 12 pounders. It's gonna be eight for that wonderful superwoman makers. So we're gonna grab those 12s. Let's stand it up, feet apart, strong upper body. Hands in front, hammer curl position. You ready? Let's rock and roll. Squat, curl, jump back, squeeze everything in that plank. Try not to twist through that cord. Big jump in, stand back up. So we want to think as we jump back, you're really using those legs to jump back. Same thing as we kind of sit back, you gotta be crouching tiger, jump it on in. Stand back up, come on. Here's six. Jump it back, row it. Big sit back, jump in, and up, five more. Five. And row. You got this, you are looking strong. Come on, we're halfway, four more. Four. Row it on up to really push you that base arm. Sit back. Jump and press. Here we go. Three. You got it. Come on. Keep pulling. Keep pushing. Big jump. We've got two more. Come on. Squat. Curl. Jump. Row and squeeze everything. Big jump in. Stand back up. One more. Come on. Down, curl, plank, row it, big jump back, up, and stand. Excellent job. Let's grab one of those 15 pounders. Make sure we have that bench in our right position. This time, hand in that dumbbell in that left hand. Right leg is up. Here we go. Let's step and lunge back. Step it up. Squeeze through that core and lunge. Here's three and lunge. Really controlling that upward face and that downward face. Bring it up and back. We have five more on this side. Five. And step. Four. And step. Three. You're looking so good. Come on. Two. Step back. One. And step back. Switch hands. Left foot comes up. Right hand has that dumbbell. All right, here we go. I know the heart's pumping. That's what we want. We want to get that respiration up. We want that heart pumping that good oxygenated blood to all of those large muscle groups that we're working through this circuit. Lots of calorie burned in a short amount of time. Come on, you got this. Give me five. Keep that good form and that good technique. Four. Come up. Step it back. Three. And back. Come on. You got it. Two. And step. One. And back. Bring that down. Let's move on to that core and our chest, and our triceps. I'm gonna stick with the 15s. You choose the weight that best works for you. All right, take that good deep breath in. Good deep breath out. Let's get into that good position. This time, keeping those hands facing towards each other. We're gonna go right arm, left leg, Pull that low back down, here we go. Down, press it. Down, and press. Really engaging that 
that core as we lower down. Make sure that low back is staying down. No popping up like a tent. Come on. You've got this. It's a big movement. We're halfway there. Give me 10 more. 10. And press. 9. Breathe it out. 8. And up. Remember, you're pulling that arm down. The arm isn't just falling down. Come on, you got this. Give me four more. Four. Three. Come on, you got this. Two. One more. And up. Bring those knees up. Dumbbells onto those legs as we roll up. Let's bring those down. Let's take it to the front with our barbell. Palms are forward, pulling right to that sternum. So that very xygoid process on the bottom. Come on, knees are soft. Back is flat, chest is out, here we go. Squeeze it. It's all on that mid back. Try to take it out of just being the biceps and make those shoulder blades. Lift and lower those arms. Give me seven more, seven. Six, you got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's put that down. Roll it forward. I'm going to take the tuck up to the side this time. So you guys can really watch that form and technique. All right, make that tripod with our hands and our booty. You ready? Here we go. Press that low back down and pull. Two, come on. Three, four, be the accordion. Five, keep that belly button in. Squeeze that rib and hip. Breathe it out. Come on, give me 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, you got this. Five, four, Three, two, squeeze, bring it on down. Excellent job. Let's move those dumbbells out of our way. Let's bring our bench back to a good start position. Just think we are two thirds of the way there, you guys. You're looking so strong. We're gonna take that good deep breath in. Take that little sip of water. Whip the whistle. Let that heart rate and breathing start to come down just slightly. How are we feeling so far? Are we feeling amazing? This is a lot of compound movements from lower and upper and core all having to work together, you should start to really get out of breath. So remember, if you need to modify anything, always feel like you can. If you need to go down onto the knees for your rows, you can do that. If you just need to use the floor for your step up and lunge, go for it. You work the level that's gonna work best for you so you can go through all of those repetitions. So, okay, we got round three. So let's grab those 12 pound dumbbells one more time for those superwoman makers. Here we go. Let's grab them. Get in that good start position. Hands in front. Here we go, squat, curl, jump back, squeeze everything on that row. Try to keep those hips stationary. Sit back, jump in. Press through those legs. Here's seven. Plank. And we row. Sit back. Big jump in. Press through those legs. Make sure we're using those legs on the jump back and on that jump in. Bring it up. Come on. Five more. Five. And plank. 
Come on, you got this. Big jump back. And up. Halfway there, come on, you got this. Four. Jump. Rotate. Big jump in. Last three, here we go, you got this. Three. Breathe it out. Row it up. Sit back. Jump it in. Last two. Two. And jump. Row it. Sit back. And up the last one. Here we go. Squat and curl. Plank. Row it. Sit back. Big jump in. Stand back up. Excellent job. Woo. All right, for round three, we're going to go without the dumbbell. But we're going to add those opposite arms, opposite leg, just like we're stepping and skipping. So let's bring that left foot up, which means right arm is up. Here we go. Bring it up. Step back. Lunge. Right back up. Using those arms. Back and forth. Come on. Three. Lunge. Four. Lunge it. Without the weight, we have a little bit more pace. Let's use that heart rate. It's going to get up there. Come on. Give me five. And lunge. Four. And lunge. Come on. Three. You got this. Two. Come on, last one. One. And back. Woo! I know that heart rate is up. Bring that right leg up. Left arm in front. All right, ladies and gents, let's rock and roll. Up. And lunge. Nine. Come on. Eight. You got this. Seven. Breathe it out. Six. Five. Pump those arms. Four. Come on. Three. Drive that knee up. Two. And one. Excellent job. Woo! I know that heart rate's pumping. Let's bring that bench. Back out to the center. Let's grab those 15 pounders or whatever weight you're using. Let's get ready for those dead bug. Alternating chest press. So let's bring it down. Hands are facing in. Okay. Low back is down. Arms are strong. Tabletop position. Here we go. Right arm, left leg. Press. Left and right. Press it. Remember, controlling that arm on the way down. Don't just let it fall down. Don't let that low back pop up. Come on, you got this. Breathe it out. Come on, you got it. Breathe it with me, come on. Give me 10 more. Let's go. 10, keep that core squeezing. Nine, come on, no stop. Eight. Seven, you're looking strong. Six. Five. Four, come on. Three. Two. And one, bring those to the knees. Roll it on up. Bring those dumbbells down. Whoo! We are almost done. On to that mid back and our biceps. And of course, our low back and core having to stabilize as we're bent over. Here we go. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's go. 12 times 12. Make sure we don't start to get fast. We want control. It's a nice, even pace. Think about that mid back doing its job. We've got six more. Six. Five. Come on. You got this. Four. Three. Two, one more. And down. Bring it down. 
Let's take it on to the end of the bench. One more time, you guys, this is it. Last 20. So let's make that tripod. For you more advanced ones, if you want to take it from a tuck to a pike, you can do that. I'll show it halfway, come on. Down, and if you want to pike, you can pike. You can alternate. Tuck and pike. Come on. Tuck and pike. If not, you stay with the tuck. Ten more. Come on. Ten. Pike. Come on. You got this. Here's six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Once again, let's just tap. This a nice, easy way. Bring the heart rate back down. We're just tapping. Getting everything moving once again. And let's just take it tap out in front. Just tap. You guys did so spectacular. That was awesome. Okay. We're going to use that bench as a prop. For our stretching. So let's take it sideways. And let's go ahead. Let's bring that left leg up. Make sure those legs are even with the hips. We don't want it in the center. Keep everything nice and neutral. We're going to keep those hips nice and square as we kind of bend that right leg. And we lean it forward. You go to where you can. It might just be where your hands are on your knee. That's fine. It may be that your hands are on the bench. Remember, keep those hips nice and square. Make sure we're not opening up to the side. Keep it in the hamstring. Flex that foot back. Keep that back nice and flat. Let's take that good deep breath in. Deep breath out. Seriously, you guys did so spectacular today. I know that's a big one in a short amount of time. Let's bring it back up. Switch legs. Everything in line, bend that left leg, and sit it back into that right hamstring, keeping everything in line, make sure we're not leaning over or opening up up the hips. Keep that foot flexed up, stretching through the hamstring, through our calves, a little bit into our booty and our low back. And let's take that good deep breath in, and deep breath out. Let's keep it standing. If you need to grab the wall, you can grab the wall. Let's bring that foot up to our butt. Bend that left leg just slightly. We're tucking that booty under, stretching through that right quad because it really worked with those squats and those jumps and the step ups and our lunges. And of course, just continuing to take really good long deep breaths in and out, in through your nose. Out through the mouth. Let's go ahead and switch sides. That bottom leg has that little give. Left leg is pulling up towards our booty, keeping those shoulders down and relaxed. Remember, no tension through the neck or through the shoulders. Keeping that booty tucked under, core engaged. And just breathe. The heart rate should really start to be coming down now. So let's go ahead. Let's take it into our tabletop right next to our bench. And we're going to take that right arm, make a goal post. And what we're going to do, we're going to kind of lean down into it and turn away from that left side. Stretching through that chest. Because that chest work with those planks holding that row and during our dead bug alternating chest presses. So we're seeing that good stretch through the front of the shoulders, through that chest. Keep that low back tucked down. And remember, no arching while we're here. And let's go ahead. Let's bring it on up. Let's take it over to the other side. Let's get into that tabletop. Make that goal pose position. We kind of lean it over. 
Turn away from that bench, getting that good stretch through that right side. It's a fantastic stretch. The great thing is you can do this up against a door jam. You can use your stability ball, you can use your bench. It's a great way to open up that chest. And let's sit it on that, let's sit on that bench. Sitting up nice and tall, let's just bring that arm across. Stretch it over. Sitting up nice and tall. Keeping that low back tucked under, no arching. Just kind of re-elongating everything that we work. Bring that other arm across. Stretch. Remember, your stretching is just as important as the workout. We want to re-elongate those muscles. We don't want to stay tight. We don't want to get stoved up. We want to have that range of motion, that flexibility. Let's go ahead, let's bring those arms down. Let's just circle it. And let's just kind of take it forward and back. Get everything moving and grooving again. And you guys are finito. Excellent job. Way to push through. Like I said, it's a lot of work in a short amount of time. So as always, thank you guys for tuning in and make sure to check back next time. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.